Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. If it's your first time seeing me, go ahead and like this video because I know you're going to like it already. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss another upload. And if you already are subscribed, hey girl, welcome back. First of all, I wanted to congratulate the three winners of the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Thank you guys. I'm going to have their names on the screens. Thank you, beautiful ladies. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys. So on this weekend, on Saturday, I'm going to be uploading a video for you guys showing you everything that I'm going to be giving away in the giveaway. Um, and if anybody wants to send in anything, if any businesses want to send in anything, you still can. It just has to be in by Friday. If it's not in by Friday, then it's not going to be on the video, okay? If you want to send in something for the giveaway, it has to be sent in by Friday. My P.O. box is down below in the pinned comment, and I'll have it on the screen somewhere on here. If y'all want a screenshot, cool. So, Yes, but yes, congrats guys. And I am going to be doing some more giveaways. Um, the next giveaway that I'm going to be doing is going to be on my Facebook. I go on Facebook um, mostly every day and do readings on live. And it's a great time. I love being on live and talking to everybody. And a lot of you guys are here from Facebook and y'all from here have gone on Facebook. So thank you guys. But yes, if y'all want to hang out on Facebook, then see me on Facebook. But yes, let's go ahead and um, just get into the video. But there is something that I'm going to be dropping for you guys. I'm going to be dropping an actual tangible product in a couple of weeks. And I'm really excited because I've never actually sold my own actual like products. So I'm very excited to do this. I think it's going to be so fun and so good. So yes, I'm going to make a video about it later on when everything is good to go but um yeah let's go ahead and get into um the video so today we are going to be talking about cord cutting rituals i've been talking about cord cutting rituals on here for the longest and i don't think i've ever made a complete video about them but you guys have been wanting it so today we're going to be talking about cord cutting rituals so first things first, a cord is basically just an energetic tie that you have to someone. We can form cords or we can have cords already established like soulmate, twin flame, life partner, those type of connections, soul contracts, things like that. Or you can get really attached to someone, a friend, um, your parents, um, people you date, um, maybe people you see at your job all the time, whatever. You can get energetically attached to people and you can have cords with just about anybody. So a cord cutting ritual is basically when you are severing the cord between you and someone else sometimes you have to do cord cuttings a few times depending on the connection but yes that is what a cord cutting is so we could go ahead and get into the bad types of cords because all connections that we have to people are not negative if you have the type of connection to someone where you have a lot of obsessive negative thoughts about that person um where if you think of that person's name or you see that person or you see their name you just get enraged like if someone has like a negative, like a habitual negative effect on your energy. It's something that you cannot control. It's something that you feel you have no power of. It's something that you're letting control you now, even though it happened in the past. And those are all signs of a cord that needs to be cut. If you're starting to pick up negative habits that you once let go of, if you're losing yourself because of someone else, you might have to break that cord. Like if you're starting the negative roller coaster and if anybody like knows how it is, like dealing with a twin, just in, dealing with like a negative relationship and you keep going back over and over and over and over and over again, it's because there's a core there. So you're always going to do that. Literally, that's how you know you have to separate yourself seriously. When it becomes a negative roller coaster, that's when you know you have to separate yourself. So if those sound like your situation... Now, come on, let's get into it, okay? I'm going to tell you guys the cord cutting ritual that I actually do, and then I'm going to tell you guys kind of ways to keep it up because, you know, the work that we do isn't just a one and done. We still have to work to keep our vibration high, keep our energies high, affirm ourselves daily, work a lot on self-love. It's a lot of energy breaking someone off from you because nine times out of ten they ain't gonna be done done with you you know what i'm saying sometimes we got people that keep hitting us up and keep coming after us for years girl okay so you can't really do nothing about that you just have to energetically disconnect so you don't give a fuck about it no more who cares if they keep coming back if you don't think about them and you ain't worried about it it doesn't even matter you know what i'm saying that's the whole point basically to make it so you are not bothered by them okay so yes that is basically how you know if you need to do one so 
So basically, yes. How I would recommend you guys doing your cord cuttings is I would first tell you guys to, you know, create a safe space in your home. So cleanse your home. Um, sage, Palo Santo, Florida water, incense that you bless. If you guys want to bless some incense, you could buy a regular pack of incense and pray over them. Ask that every time you light the incense, it fills your space with love and light. It removes all negativity, it removes all bad intention. I would tell you to like to sleep with the incense for three days and pray with them for three days. And then you can use them to, you know, bless your space so you can do that if you wanted to bless some incense um but yeah you could basically you know bless your space cleanse your space that's the first thing that i would tell you to do make sure that ain't nothing going on in your space cleanse it then i would tell you to cleanse yourself take a spiritual bath spend some time in meditation you know this is typically an emotional kind of thing because we are like it feels like you're kind of physically like ejecting something from you it feels like you're repelling like you're getting something out of you for real it can be really emotional you can be really drained afterwards so you kind of want to make sure that you just get in a nice comfortable good warm cozy space before so when you know things really start you know picking up and you're actually doing the work you you can you know be okay and afterwards you can be okay too so we're going to cleanse our space and we're going to cleanse ourselves with the spiritual bath first then I would tell you to write a letter, okay? So then I would say to write a letter. Now, what you're going to need for the actual ritual, you're going to need a paper, um, piece of paper, parchment paper, whatever kind of paper you have, something to write on, something to write with. It's all about intention, guys, mind you. So it's not a specific pen or whatever. You need something to write on, something to write with. You need some fire, so you need something to burn, the, pa the paper that you're writing on. And um, I would tell you guys to have some sound bowls playing in the background on YouTube or something or have sound bowls playing in your ears. Um, if you like sound bowls, if not, I would so strongly recommend just having like affirmations playing in your ears or just something playing in the air. Um, you know, a very high vibrational, nice calming sound in the air, because again, it's difficult work. So you having healing sounds playing the entire time you're doing it just kind of makes things a little bit easier on you energetically because you have that sound kind of as a buffer. I feel like for the harshness that you're kind of putting yourself through to basically do the work. So I hope that made sense. I would recommend some sound bowls playing in the background. I'm going to wait until I get a couple of more sound bowls to do a sound bowl video for you guys. But you can just look up sound bowl videos or sound bowl healing on YouTube, literally. And you'll find three-hour videos, eight-hour videos, long-ass videos, okay? So go ahead and put you some sound bowls on. Sit in a meditative space and you're going to write a letter. Okay guys, so I forgot to mention this. Make sure you get a white candle and have the white candle burning the entire time you're working on your ritual work for good, beautiful vibrations. You're gonna write a letter to the person whose cord you're trying to cut. So write a letter to them, say dear, whatever, um, and you know, write your letter to whatever. Fill up the page front and back, however many times you gotta write over it. Fill it up, fill up your page, and you know, just write a letter to this person and write what you're releasing in this letter. And also release this person in love and light. We have to remember that. We cannot do this releasing work if we like release this person, hoping something bad happened to them. That's some other type of work, okay? That's not a core cutting, okay? This core cutting, you release them in love and light, okay? So that's what that's for, okay? So you're gonna release this person in love and light. You're gonna write this letter and say everything that you would have said to this person if you had the opportunity to say so. So you're gonna release those energies, say them, get them off your chest, get it up out of your mind, get it up out of your energy, release those energies. And after you do that, we're going to burn the letter. So after you do the letter, I would tell you to read the letter a few times. I typically read mine three times. Um, read the letter three times and just allow yourself to, you know, think about those things and, and experience those emotions. You know, allow yourself to really like, you know, allow yourself to do the work. Allow yourself to feel how it felt because we're doing this cord cutting. So we don't have, you know, the heaviness anymore. And any part of healing is about feeling it to go through it. Like once you feel it, you're good. So you have to let yourself feel those things because after this, we're not feeling those things anymore. We're not feeling that pain, that sadness. It's no need to hold on to it. Let yourself feel it. If you fucked up about it, let yourself feel fucked up about it for this little bitty time and you'll be okay. All right. So we're going to let ourselves feel these emotions. So, you know, after we have written our letter, we're going to do a meditation. So I typically like to visualize myself and the person that I'm doing the cord cutting with. I typically like to visualize a cord, a physical cord connecting myself to this person. It could be a rope. It could be just an energy field that you see connecting you guys, whatever. I see a cord, you can pick a picture like an umbilical cord, like literally a physical cord attaching you guys, whatever you want to picture. So I picture myself and this person being attached by a cord. And then 
Um, I literally just, I'm sitting meditating, I'm listening to my sound bowls, I'm feeling my feelings, you know, and I'm releasing this person in love and light. I'm releasing this person in love and light. That's typically what I say in my head while I'm doing the visualization. So I'm repeating in my head, I release, I'm releasing this person in love and light, saying their name, like I'm releasing blank in love and light, I release blank in love and light, whatever. And I'm picturing myself and this person again, connected by a cord. I'm picturing this person walking away into a light. This person is walking away into a light and I'm picturing them, you know, our cord severing as they are walking away. Our cord is broken. My cord, my piece of my cord returns to me. Their piece returns to them. And then this person walks away and they disappear into a white light. And then I am in my own light and then I can open my eyes and know that I've released this person in love and light. So then I burn the letter, okay? After you burn your letter, if you want to, you can blow out your white candle that you've been having burning the entire time, remember? So you can burn, you can blow out your white candle if you want to, or you can let it burn all the way down. It's up to you, um, it's up to you. Again, you can let it um, burn or you can blow it out, whatever you wanna do. But after that, you basically cut the cord. So now after you've done that work, it's going to be important for you to keep doing your spiritual baths. I recommend to do one a week, a cleansing one, a self-love, um, something to protect yourself, something to just keep your energy high, keep your vibration high, something to just, you know, keep you, you know, happy and keep your energies, you know, lifted after doing that type of work. Because this, if this is a core, this is not going to be something easy that we're going to be doing. We're going to be like sad about it. Okay. So we have to make sure that we're able to do the work. Okay. So Yes, we want to make sure that we're releasing these energies and that we're taking care of ourselves afterwards. So I would definitely recommend spiritual baths. I would also recommend that you journal a lot after this, that you do your meditation a lot after this, um, that you do your affirmations every morning after this, just that you get in the habit of, you know, just self-love, even starting off with that. Like I said, you want to start off with cleansing your space, you know, cleansing yourself and then getting into the work. So that would be good too if you wanted to start off with like a week of affirmations and self-love because, you know, you got the, this core cutting to do this weekend on somebody that you ain't been able to leave since the third grade, okay? If you know it's that serious, then give yourself some time to prepare for the work, okay? So, yes, that is basically what I have for core cutting rituals. Again, you may need to do more than one, but I would not tell you to do another one like right after. I would really tell you to allow yourself to do the work because it's not gonna be like you do one and nothing happens and you feel exactly the same. What's gonna happen if you need to do another one is that you'll release things and then realize, oh wait, I need to release more or there was more about the situation that you didn't realize that was you know at you because sometimes we, th we think we have one set of problems with a certain situation and as we release those problems you know the real issue might come up or whatever the case is you know more stuff might come to the surface so as you are working in healing you can release as many times as you want to we just have to believe that we're done with those things we're not releasing the same stuff over and over again it might be related to the same person or situation but it's always going to be something different because when you release it you're done with it Okay, we done with it, all right? So yes, that is basically how to do a cord cutting ritual. Um, I hope that if you guys have to do one, that you take your time, you are patient with yourself. If you have any questions about it beyond this, you can let me know. You can leave it down below in the comments or whatever the case is. If I have enough, then I can do a cord cutting Q&A video if you guys have a lot of questions outside of this. But yes, um, I hope this video was informative. I hope the video gave you the tea that you needed. Again, um, I hope that this resonated with you guys if you need this type of work done. But yes, I love you guys. Um, I'll see you guys next time. And if you have any other videos or topics that you want me to talk about, leave them down below in the comment section. So yes, bye guys. Love y'all.